my name is Helen and I'm a 22 years old SIM student uh, at the University of St. Gallen, which is a master in strategy and international management. And I'm originally from Germany, but I also have um, a US American citizenship. I did my bachelor's in, in Maastricht in the Netherlands in international business um, with an exchange semester in Singapore at the National University of Singapore. And yeah, now I'm, I'm all in here uh, in Switzerland. I knew after um, my high school graduation that I wanted to do a bachelor in, in, in business, right? So I, I started directly um, after my, my high school graduation and didn't really think of, of taking time in between um, or uh, yeah, how this would pursue. But during my bachelor's, I noticed that I will um, I definitely want to to do a master to just get yeah additional insights uh, on the topics that I'm, I'm interested in and also more international exposure um, before before starting a job and really knowing what what I want to work on. So um, I applied um, for a master um, after my bachelor studies, but in between I did a, a so-called gap year um, with uh, with two internships um, to yeah again for that experience and explore um, what my professional interests are and then um, yeah try to substantiate that with um, with further education i can really say that people at sim and um, yeah they, they really try to help you personally each individual uh, in that pro program to find their way and not only um, career wise but also really what do i want from life and how do it how do i achieve my path and, and my uh let's say inner compass um through through my first job through my my later later jobs um so for me i can definitely say even now i'm still not 100 percent certain what i want to do after sim um but sim has definitely given me a broader picture of the opportunities that helped me to to find what I don't like that much, and and then um, what what is the um, narrower range for me um, to to pursue and also um, explore during another internship, for example. It's definitely an um, intense journey for for each individually. I mean, you can you can figure out yourself how much you you take from from this offering but basically what what it is is that um our career and i would more say not just career but really life coach <laughs> uh, um helps us individually in 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 one hour or 90 minute sessions to to yeah develop an idea of what do i want from life or what what, what do i really want and not just um, I want to work in consulting or I want to make an impact, uh, which, which everyone wants in the end, right? But the question is how, how, how does my personal way with my personal strength and, and weaknesses and interests, abilities lead to, to, to that um, being fulfilled? I mean, we, we learn a lot about the different aspects of, of business strategy or corporate strategy, right? But within that, um, so much is about your own learning and own personal growth story, so to say, and with with the sim team and with um, other simmies, uh, as we we call we call our, our um, colleagues, um, everyone has a chance to really deeply find out what what is right for them, and also critically assess um, yeah assumptions that that we have of our first job or of our future to yeah strategize um, and also keep questioning if, if is this a choice that I personally from from my heart I'm taking or is it something that um, a majority does or some trend um, that sounds cool and that might ultimately not be the perfect fit for me personally. Everyone is really uh, unique in, in their own um, with, with their personal background, the country they come from, the where and what they studied and what kind of um, professional and personal experience they just bring bring to, to the program. But I think something that unites all of us is just the interest to, to connect with each other and to be, to go out there and, and do something that has a purpose and makes an impact. I think that is really a common 
um, yeah, common denominator that especially in the first first weeks where we were still able to to see each other at the beginning of, of the program before um, the lockdown also came to, to Switzerland um, was something that I, I felt every day that just everyone was really inspired and willing and open to to get together, talk, exchange opinions, experiences, um, which I think is, is a very, very unique component of SIM um, that, that makes it so special. For me personally, the, the ranking was not something that, yeah, made a decisive, um, was a decisive factor uh, in the end, but rather what the program offers and the whole curriculum and different components um, that really, in my opinion, differentiated it also from, from other uh, masters in, in management, because it, it's not just management and, and, and business, it's a great portfolio of, of different um, aspects, including, for example, a, a social initiative called Simagination Challenge um, that we all yeah, do in, in groups of five to, to 10 people, depending on, on the topic uh, where we really where our students are um, challenged to to do a social project, an initiative, sometimes with an NGO, sometimes just on our own or with corporate partners um, that leaves impact. And I'm re repeating that word because it's really the yeah the the core of of, of this initiative in, um, in in different countries. So, for example, my initiative um, targets um, Kenya, a really uh, poor region where we we help a community. Um, yeah, build up independent revenue streams. And so they're not dependent on, on donations as much uh, anymore. So this is really something that um, intrigued me into, into applying to SIM and then uh, in the end deciding for, for SIM to do more than just um, the, the, the management courses and um, some topics that I've already might have heard it during my bachelor's, but really dig, dig deep into different aspects um, such as this, this challenge. Yeah, so it's really a great portfolio of, of different insights you get. I, I, I can't really say that it's not intense, <laughs> um, even though it's really worth it to, to go that um, extra mile um, all over again. Whenever you, you, you feel like um, you achieved something, you delivered a presentation, you I had an exam, something else is coming up. Um, so. I did feel it. It was very um, intense, especially during the first first semester, where we have um, yeah, a lot of group work um, and a lot of, of challenges um, coming over and over again. But I feel like the intensity is of of the studies is somehow alleviated by the the social part um, of, of sim and the just being with each other, um, also for, for our group work. If, if we work uh, late late evening hours and we combine it with the dinner or we um, yeah, do a coffee coffee call instead of a, um, of a regular intense meeting to just still have that, that social part that is so important um, next to the actual work. So we, we really try um, as a cohort or within our smaller groups to to make it as, as fun as, as possible as while well, still obviously um yeah working hard <laughs> so you can either do an exchange for, for one semester or um you can choose to apply for a double degree that's also also an option which some um some yeah simis did um there is some ip which is more of a internship that is abroad so it's it's something that um, the students organize themselves and they um, do it within the time yeah within their, their sim uh, time um, and it's um, I think a five to, to six weeks minimum um, internship in a country that is not Switzerland and not your home country to just yeah engage in a different working setting and um, that is beyond your your comfort zone maybe or um, experience you did in, in the past. So it's, um, yeah, sometimes challenging um, to to do that um, because it's, yeah, many people want to do an internship in Switzerland or um, in in a country where they speak the language, right? So this is really um, getting getting to the next level of, of internship experience um, within other opportunities um, as of, yeah, double degree programs or um, or exchange semesters. So a lot of international uh, exchange and experience here.
<laughs> From talking to, to other Simis, I for now learned that a lot of people, um, at least for, for first work experience or an internship, um, do want to do it in Switzerland or in a neighboring country or the, the Dach region. Um, but overall, I think it's really, yeah, broad uh, where, where Simis go or strive to go um, for, for their, yeah, their, their next working experience. And wherever you go, there's basically always a Simi somewhere that, that uh, you can reach out to. So in that regard, I feel like the, the network of past SIM graduates, but also what um, the network that the SIM office um, provides and the, the different companies um, related to, to SIM or that SIM has contacts to, offers amazing opportunities um, to, to find out um, where you really want to go and talk to people and ask how, how is it really to work here or there in this or that company in this or that um, country. So um, wherever I yeah was was interested in, I found a Simi <laughs> working there or having worked worked there um, that was able to to help and is really open um, to connect and to to just share their experience. So um, also in this regard, I would say that that Sim offers millions of opportunities, uh, no matter whether it's in Switzerland in the end or anywhere in the world, basically. I intensified a lot of um, interests or characteristics I, I had before SIM that were just really well taken on by, by the whole, whole program, like my international outlook and um, yeah, interest in, in different countries, cultures, um, different industries also on, on the professional side. So I, I feel like SIM just opened so many areas that I had the chance to yeah, look to, to investigate uh, for, for myself and my my future to really find what I want. And I, I can say I'm not 100% there yet, uh, which, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that I still have some of my sim time left and it's, it's not over yet, even though the first month have gone pretty quickly, unfortunately. Um, but I believe that through what everything that that sim brings together um it is a an incredible personal journey um of, of on the professional side but also on the on the personal side um, of growing into who you want to be in that world out there um and achieving that with everything sim offers to you for people that um haven't replied yet definitely do it if you if you are interested and don't be um yeah scared off by by admission requirements or the different things you you have to go through in order to um to reach a, the final decision so i can just yeah i remember myself sitting there like no idea if this will work out or why would why would they admit me right and in the end um i think it's really about you giving your authentic self into the admission program pr process but also after that when you are in sim to just stay true to 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 who you are be open um to view different opinions on on things different ways to approach tasks um always interesting in in group works or in in um having yeah talks with with international peers um and just be open for for a journey um that can can change your perspective on on a lot of different um, different things that you thought you knew it all, and um, now with with some, um, you you never stop stop learning. Mm -hmm.